Welcome. This is Dr. Ali Mugabel. This course is titled Modern Digital Communication Systems. The objective of this presentation is to give an introduction to the course. So the outline of this quick video, will, will, it's just like a welcoming video where I would share with you uh, who am I and who you are, and then we'll go on to the course objectives, course basics, and we'll give you a link to the course syllabus. So this is uh, Ali Hussein Mugabel. I am a professor with the Electrical Engineering Department, and um, I am the Center Director for the Communication Systems and Sensing Research Center. My um, information, my office is located at King Fahd University of Petroleum and Minerals, building 59, and room 1088. That's the current information. Regarding the details about the contact and the office hours, please look at the syllabus. And then, um, to give you a quick idea about myself, I graduated from Virginia, uh, Virginia Tech, Virginia Polytechnic Institute for uh, State University. Um, I am specialized in communication signal processing. Specifically, I work uh, lately on localization, finding positions, and uh, I'm also an expert in ultrawide band wireless propagation. If you want to know more about myself, you can visit my personal website, which is also a uh, easily accessible through Google search, or I would share also the link with you. The course is also about you and me, so please make sure that you use your personal picture uh, when you use Microsoft Teams or Zoom, so I can remember your face. Also, if you, are, if you have to use email, although I prefer that we stick to MS Teams for all our communication, then make the title clear as EE417 or modern digital and analog communication, modern digital communication. Um, MATLAB is an important part of the course and you are expected to be fluent in MATLAB. So make sure that you get ready for that. The overall goal of, the co of this course, we can identify four different important objectives. The first one is to understand the basic components of digital communication systems. What are the different components? The second objective is to be able to design optimum receivers, optimum receivers for digital modulation techniques. Analyze the error performance of digital modulation techniques. Design digital communication systems under given power, spectral, and error performance constraints. So this is more of engineering a communication system. The textbook we're using, uh, it's the book by Haken, and we're using the fifth edition. There is a big difference between the fourth and the fifth edition. So uh, we'll be using the fifth edition with some supplementary material, with some, with some supplementary material. Uh, the material is available on the course website. So if you search my name, Mugabel, M-U-Q, A-I-B-L, find my personal website and their courses. There are lots of resources, including uh, this course. There are other courses also like wireless communication and what have you. So what are we going to cover in this course? We have main topics, main modules. The first one is related to review of probability and random processes. We'll do that quickly. Then we'll also review the digital representation of analog uh, signals like sampling, quantization, and PCM. So we'll get you ready. If you miss anything in your previous courses, we'll try to get you ready. The next module is we have baseband transmission, and we have also bass or band pass transmission. That's without modulation in baseband, and this guy is with modulation. We only consider digital uh, modulation techniques, so baseband pulses, matched filter design, intersymbol interference, and among others. When we come to band pass transmission, we look at ASK, PSK, QM, FSK, and other techniques. Uh, the associated chapter from that book, if you like, we have the chapter number here. Note that some chapters are not there, like chapter 6, because they cover analog, and in this course, we uh, rather sh focus on the digital part. Information and forward error correction topics are covered in chapter 10. These are uh, topics that are usually covered in other courses, but we are going to cover them uh, as an integrated part of this course. 
We'll also spend some time on some of the emerging communication techniques. Now, when it comes to the course information, uh, I'll, I'll be sharing the link, uh, the syllabus link with you. So uh, we'll be using Blackboard or my, my web page for communication. Regarding course grading, homework, attendance, project presentations, maybe it's not uh, of use for everybody who's watching this video. So I'll give you also the link uh, if you want to know more about this.